It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. As many of you know, last Sunday, atheists all over the world celebrated Face Palm Sunday. Actually, it's not really so much a celebration as it is a, a bewilderment. How can so many of our friends, family, loved ones, neighbors still believe in the mythology of a dying, resurrecting God-man? Especially one who lived 2,000 years ago who promised his followers he'd be right back, dragging all hell behind him. As I spent the day contemplating a ritual for atheists on Face Palm Sunday, I tried to understand how people could ignore such obvious discrepancies. Why do people continue to believe in a man who told the people of his day that they would see the end of times? You know, right at the beginning of the Roman Empire. I began to wonder about the celebration of Easter and the resurrection as well. The theology of Christianity is that with Adam's sin came death. Then Jesus came leading a perfect and sinless life, coming even through a sinless vessel, Mary. His sacrifice on the cross, his death, which never had to happen, Jesus being sin-free, took away our sins and conquered death. That adds up, theologically speaking. And to that last part, I say, hear, hear, I am all for Jesus conquering death. But if you've been paying even the slightest bit of attention, you'll notice that people are still dropping like flies. Jesus clearly did not conquer death. To which believers will say Jesus did conquer death, but we won't experience that until the resurrection. My retort is, I conquered death too. Give me 10% of your gross income and I'll catch you on the backside. Seriously. Adam's sin brought in death like the plague, and instantaneously, we can all see it. But Jesus' conquering of death has to wait until we're all dead? You'll forgive me, but I have to pitch this one more time. You never know who's watching. I promise you, if you'll give me but 10% of your gross income, I will take care of everything. Once you're dead, you'll be set forever in a glorious life to come. Go to patreon.com forward slash Mr. Deity to sign up. But wait, if you sign up in the next half hour, I'll throw in thoughts and prayers free. Just pay an additional one-time shipping and handling fee of $2,000. Order now. Then I wondered why any of us need to be resurrected in the first place. If I continue to live after death with some continuity in my person, I have my thoughts, memories, personality, consciousness, etc., while my body rots in the ground, why do I need to be resurrected? You're not resurrecting me, you're resurrecting my body. And quite frankly, if I'm going to be living for all eternity, I'd rather not have to shower and shave. And I certainly don't want to be endlessly wiping my gorgeous ass. Although, the great beyond really would be a great place for my great behind. Anyway, just some random thoughts I wanted to share with you folks. To all of my Christian friends watching, I really am wishing you a very happy Easter. And to those of you going to an actual church service this Sunday, make sure you sign up for my all-inclusive happy ending after party now. Before death conquers you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>